Somebody glorify the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody glorify the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody glorify the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody glorify the name of Jesus. 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 Come on, open up your mouths and give God the praises tonight. Come on, open up your mouth and give God the praises tonight. Come on, open up your mouth and give God the praises tonight. Come on, open up your mouth and give God the praises tonight. Come on, open up your mouth and give God the praises tonight. Come on, open up your mouth. I, 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 just, I don't want to st stop just yet. Come on, give God that praise that belongs to him. Come on, somebody open up your mouth. Hallelujah, as we clear this atmosphere, as we clear this atmosphere tonight, open up your mouths. Come on, somebody open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Every eye think tonight in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody open up your mouth. Shatosai, Nakushandosa, Mandolobo Satai, Nananamakosa. I want it to bear me. You, you got to give me a minute, Pastor. I'm, I'm sorry, but you got to give me a minute tonight. If you want to be upset with me after service, then that's fine. But you gotta give me a minute tonight. Glory, glory. I need, I need one, two. I need at least five men at the front right here. Hallelujah. Five men at the front right here. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. I, I don't know if you understand. Jesus. 
But tonight is the last night of the feast. Hallelujah. And the enemies realize that we started well. Yes. And they know we're at a point where he wants to try and destroy and to put up a blockage. Yes. But I, I declare in the atmosphere that every prince, demon of the year will be stopped. Jesus. They will fall where they're at tonight. Jesus. But as these five men that stand before me tonight, this is what I'm going to give your charge to do. I want each one of you, one after the other, just to open up your mouth and speak a word into the room. Hallelujah, Jesus. Speak a word into the room. Get the mic and speak a word into the room. Speak just a word into the room. Whether you want to quote a scripture, you want to speak, just speak a word into the room. I, I declare that life shall come to... Yeah, God Almighty, there got to be a break free. Oh, Somebody oh, shall break free. Break free. Let your power fall. Oh, oh I'll be in this place. You have won. Okay. Let your power fall. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah, Father. I'm praying for anybody that's coming to this congregation in the mighty name of Jesus to reach your safe and sound and reach on time in the mighty name of Jesus. Close. Amen. Hallelujah! The weapon of my warfare, yeah, warfare. are not carnal, oh. but are mighty through God hey. to the pulling down of every stronghold and so tonight i'm saying i'm pulling down stronghold hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. anyhow hallelujah. never let your problems get you done come when temptation come your way just lift your hands up high and say hallelujah anyhow i said no weapon that is formed against me tonight shall never prosper hallelujah jesus and every tongue that is risen up hallelujah jesus hallelujah come on somebody open up your mouths tonight open up your mouths around the room as the men of value has declared in the atmosphere that the weapon of our warfare is not carnal but it's mighty through the pulling down our strongholds every rulers of darkness in every high places tonight ah not about coast higher it shall not prosper and everything hallelujah glory hallelujah let me just hand the mic over the man of God look like he don't want to take the mic from me, God Almighty. Lord Jesus. Glory God Almighty, I don't care what you came, what condition, what state of mind you came in tonight. But you came here for one purpose. And is that chains and yokes will be broken. Hallelujah. And so I declare it over your life, even you, my brother, that your chains can be broken. And the Bible says everything that has breath can praise him. Come on. Hallelujah, Jesus. And so Hallelujah. you don't need to come and feel uncomfortable. But open up your mouth if you will. And give God praise whenever it is necessary. Come on, somebody open up your mouth. Hallelujah. Can you go ahead and praise him? 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your will, Lord. Yes. Take charge, Almighty God. Yes, Lord. As we hand over this service. Jesus. As we hand over this service Jesus. to the Holy Ghost, yes. as we hand over the service yes. to the Anointed One, as we yes. hand over the service to the Holy Spirit yes. in Jesus' name, Hallelujah! 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 Oh, we must fight, be brave against all evil, never run, however long behind. If you win for God on the right. Keep on the fire in life. We must fight. Be brave against all evil. Never run, however long we are. If you wait for God on the right, keep on the fire in life. Oh, if you wait a battle for the Lord and right, keep on the fire in life. 
If you are my brother, surely you must fight. Keep hold of fire in life. There are many dangers that we almost face. Even that was fighting, there is no disgrace. I want in the service, you will find no place. Keep hold of fire in life. Oh, we must fight. Be brave against all evil. Never run. Yes. If you live for the God, keep on the fire in life. Oh, God will only use the soldier he can chop. Keep on the fire in life. If you wear the crown, they bear the cross, you must. Keep on the fire in life. Life is just a labor for the master's ways. Help to banish evil and to spread good chase. Wait, you'll be rewarded for your service. Keep on the fire in life. Where is the church tonight? Must fight, be brave against all evil. Never run, however long the eye. If you're late for God and hey, yeah. keep, keep on the fire in life. Oh yes, we must fight, be brave, 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 fight and be brave. Keep on the fire in life. We must fight, be brave, fight, be brave, fight. Fire in life. Oh, if you're in the battle for the Lord and right, keep on the fire in life. Keep on the fire in life. Oh, if you banish evil and to spread your cheer, great you will be rewarded for your service. Come on, put your hands together. Keep on the fire in life. We must fight, be brave, fight, be brave, fight, be brave, fight, be brave, fight, be brave. The fire in life. Come on, somebody give the Lord a praise. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Lift your voice and give him a praise. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Great things he have done. Oh, glory. So love be the world that he gave us his son. Tonight we are in a battlefield. And I hope the soldiers are ready to war. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I've been out for all night. Praise the Lord. But tonight, another night of victory. Because we are standing in God's presence. And the word of God said, in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. We're in men's convention. Praise the name of the Lord, somebody. Can somebody give the Lord a praise in the house? Are you feeling blessed to be in God's house? Come on, let me hear the rolling of the voice up in here tonight. Somebody give him a worship. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This atmosphere is charged with God's power and God's presence. So nothing that is not of God can dwell right now. Because where the spirit of God is, uh, Shataya, there is liberty. And so this atmosphere is curfew with God's power and anointing hallelujah somebody glory be to god glory be to god hallelujah and so i came with my fire and i have a few brothers and sisters up in here who have their fire so when we join together up in here tonight we are gonna blaze and burn Halo shy. something's gotta die for something to live and so tonight we kill everything that is not of god and we consecrate this sanctuary with the presence and the power of the Holy Ghost. Let me greet the Spirit of God who is the head and keep of my life. To the host pastor, the assistant pastor, all the ministers, officers in your respective position. I greet you tonight in her powerful name, Jesus. This is the day that the Lord had made. 
and we will rejoice tonight and be glad in it. We're going to move on in our night lesson, and it will be taken from St. Luke chapter 15, reading from verse 11 to 18, and I'll read thus in your hearing. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I feel God already in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. The atmosphere is right. So there's going to be a powerful word. Shia Masai. Hello, Shia. And it reads us. And it said, A certain man had two sons. The younger of them said to his father, Give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his, his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. And there wasted his substance with riot, righteous, righteous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land. And he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself a city of that country and he sent him into the, his field to feed swine and he would fade have filled his belly with the us that the swine did eat and no man gave unto him and when he came to himself he said how many higher servants of my fathers have bread enough and to spare and I perish with hunger 18 and appointed verse I will arise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against thee and before thee. Praise the name of the Lord. He handed the portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, thanks be to God. Glory be to God. We're moving in our service because we're off for a late start as well. So at this moment, we're going to ask Sister Amoy to come and lead for us the testimony service in Jesus' name. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the name of Jesus. We're inviting you all to come along. We are having a glorious time. We're going to a city where moonlight never shines. You may not know, you cannot tell, others will be there. For God himself would be our line to guide us on our way. We have Abraham and Isaac, Philip and Elijah, Moses, Joshua, Daniel and Elias. We have Peter, Paul and Barnabas waiting for the master. The name of Jesus. Do we have any testimony tonight in the house? Bless the name of the Lord. Has the Lord done something for you tonight? Glory to the Lamb of God. If He has not done anything for you, let me testify then. Glory to the name of Jesus. For once I was lost, but now I am found. Glory to the Lamb of God. Somebody go ahead and worship Jesus. I heard that tonight is the last night, but it no look like say God do not offend nobody in this place. Glory to the Lamb of Jesus. Somebody just stand up their feet tonight uh, and go ahead and glorify Jesus. Uh, glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah uh, to the Lamb of God. Glory to the name of Jesus. Uh, God you wake me up. Uh, I am in my right mindset. Uh, glory to Jesus. Uh, God I thank you uh, because you found me. Uh, God I thank you uh, because your love is sovereign. Uh, God I thank you for being God tonight. Uh, I thank you for seating up high. Jesus. And looks down low on your people. Do we have any testimony in their house tonight? Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do we have any testimony? Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Come on. Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. He's all that matters tonight. Glory yes. to the Lamb of God. Oh, yes. He's all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anyone else have any testimony in the house? Hallelujah. Something good. Something beautiful. All I have to have for him is brokenness and strife. But he makes something beautiful of my life. Something good, something beautiful. All I can have for him is brokenness and strife. But he makes something beautiful of my life. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Anybody else have any testimony tonight? Glory to the name of Jesus. Anybody else in the house have any testimony tonight? Thank you, Jesus. Anybody else in the house have any shall we, testimony? Shall we praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Shall we magnify the Glory Lord? The Hallelujah. First, I must greet the Holy Spirit, head of my life. And the Rastom, to my pastor, hallelujah, to all the ministers in their respective era, I greet you, or oh, no other name, but our soon coming king, hallelujah. I know I can greet you like this, hallelujah. Because one time, God, I could not greet you like this, hallelujah, hallelujah. I ask myself, the so, oh, how I got over, hallelujah. My soul look back and wonder, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus, glory to God, hallelujah. Virgin, cry. When you're in a Christ, a sweet. Hallelujah. When you're in a red, you're in a sweet. Hallelujah. That's why I can greet you like this. Hallelujah. Because I remember back, day, back then. Hallelujah. I, I, couldn't home, I could have lost my life. But God, God's grace is upon me. Amen. For a purpose. Hallelujah. And we, and we, and we, we, we don't in that mission what God have you for nothing cannot do to do you because God cannot allow you nothing to happen to you hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus just pray for me hallelujah in Jesus name hallelujah, hallelujah. any to more God. testimony tonight hallelujah. hallelujah can somebody give God a praise in this place Jesus. glory to God let hallelujah. me greet let me greet the Holy Spirit which is the head of my life to my pastor pastor K Williams Glory to God, all the other officers in their respectable posts, Pastor Blake, glory to Almighty God, all the Rastam Associate, each and every one, Elder Williams, each and every one beneath the sound of my voice. Glory to God, I greet you in no other name but the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Glory to Almighty God, I'm just telling somebody that I am just waiting on the pour out of the Lord. Glory to God. There are times when the devil seems like he locked we down. But let I come to remind us that we serve a great, big, wonderful God that is always victorious, always watching over us. And tonight, glory to Almighty God, somebody might say that you know that I'm poor, but I, I want to tell a child of God, never ever use that word about I am poor. I am just waiting on the poor round. Where are the believers up in here? God bless. Any more testimony in the house tonight? Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. I need the anointing. I need the weight of me, my soul. I need the anointing to come and make me own. The obvious is right. The name is on you. Lord, I'm willing to work for you. I'm willing to work, I'm willing to work to send the anointing. I need the anointing. I need it way down in my soul. I need the anointing. To come and take control. Be your best to right, the deliver on you. Lord, I'm willing to work for you. I 
Are we willing to work? Are we willing to work? Are we willing to work? That's higher. From the earth to eternity, believe it. What did we need, angel? We need to be hallelujah. We shall have a grand time of being there. Have a grand time. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. Oh, Jesus, I passed away. I'm born again. More than a conqueror, that's who I am. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man.
Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. Testament of the Lord is sure. Make, Make it wise, wise and simple. And so tonight, hallelujah, what a powerful testimony service. And we are moving on in our service smoothly. And you know that everything that we do in this life that we are living in, it requires money. And I'm not even the church. Everything that we do in this life that we are living in now, it requires what? Money, don't it? Because I know that we pay the light bill and we cannot go to JP and say hallelujah and the light bill is paid. Come on, church. We cannot go to the grocery shop and say glory and we get grocery. Come on, somebody. Talk to me up in here. So we need money to take care of this thing. And we were rejoicing in the worship. And sometimes when it comes on to giving, people tend to get quiet. But you don't know it's a very important part of worship as well. Because the sacrifice that you're giving unto God and so tonight, hallelujah, we're going to collect a general offering. But before I collect a general offering, I want to challenge some people that is in the house tonight to give a sacrificial offering. So I'm going to be the first one to start it off with a thousand dollars. And I need somebody to back up me with this thousand dollars. So you have it in you. Don't, 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 don't look on your neighbor. Because sometimes when you look on who is coming, they don't want to move. So I want for you to just move, praise the name of the Lord, and prove God for yourself. He said, prove me now and see what I will do if I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour down upon you a blessing. Before we collect that special offering, before you come, I'm going to ask Assistant Pastor James to come and bless the overall offering, and then we go right into the collection. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we all stand everywhere? Glory to God. Can we all stand everywhere? Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. We give you praise, O oh God. We give you glory. We thank you, Almighty God, for tonight. You declare in your word that a cackle and a thousand hills belongs to you. And so, Almighty God, as your people stretch forth their hands to give tonight, I pray that you will give back to them, Lord God Almighty. We pray, Father, for a hundredfold even now, Almighty God. We pray for a press down, a shake it together, and a running over tonight, Almighty God. Provide in every hearer of your disservice, Almighty God. Provide for your people, Mighty God, as they stretch forth their hands to give for those who have the heart to give give father but for some reason almighty god maybe they can't uh, stretch forth their hands we pray for a blessing uh, as well in the name of jesus christ so so bless from the rastum to the pew as we give you praise glory and hannah and we tell you thanks in jesus name can somebody open your mouth and give him praise Praise the name. So we're going to take the sacrificial offering first. And when you're coming with this offering, you're going to tell God something that you want him to do. Come on, come on. Just come with your offering in Jesus' name. So don't mix it up with that one. Come on, give it in the name of Jesus. You're going to prove God for yourself. There's something that you might be asking God to shift in your, son, in your life. Then prove God tonight. Prove God tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Come on, where are the, wor come on, where are the worshipers? You're still worshiping God. Come on, come on, bring it up in Jesus' name. It's a sacrificial offering. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me tell you something. Whenever I do this, I can tell you there is something that God do extraordinary. I'm a testimony to this. And so tonight, I'm challenged somebody in the spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. 
come on when you throw you when you throw it don't don't just come like that but tell god something that you want him to do for you hallelujah 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 god bless you god bless you god bless you thank you thank you thank you thank you hallelujah 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 when i look around and see what the lord has done for me it makes me want to go all the way sometimes my burden's heavy sometimes i can go free but when i look around and see what the lord has done for me when i look around and see what the lord has done for me he makes me want to go all the way sometimes holy ghost yes yeah, sometimes i can go free but when i look around and see what the lord has done for me when i look around and see oh what the lord has done for me he makes me oh all the way come time Step by step, I take. I'm stepping on gold. My father is a million here. Where is the church tonight? On gold. My father is a million here. Oh, I'm stepping on gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Step I take. Hallelujah, I'm stepping on gold. Oh, yes, he's step by take. I'm stepping on gold. Billion, yeah, I'm stepping on gold. My father is a million, yeah, I'm stepping on gold. Climbing me, climbing, moving me, moving. Moving up the narrow way, climbing me, climbing, moving me, moving up the narrow way. Me I lose somewhere, me I lose here, climbing up the narrow way. The old dragon with his sword dropping black heart, ah, climbing up the narrow way, climbing me, climbing, moving me, moving. Moving up the narrow way, yeah, yeah. Climbing me, climbing, moving me, move. Moving up the narrow way, moving my load somewhere. Me now lose fear. Climbing up the narrow way, the old dragon with him so a champion black heart. Ah, climbing up the narrow way, the road is rough, the road is rocky. Hallelujah, me not throw away me jacket, me not backslide, me not turn aside. My heavenly old, my faith, oh, Saddam, I go burn. Me not look back, me not go cry about that. How will we go to heaven? I feel pretty old. We know I be out no special road. Oh, climbing me, climbing. Moving me, moving, moving up the narrow way. Ah. Climbing, with climbing, moving, me moving, moving up the narrow way. Me my lose hope, me not lose fear. Climbing up the narrow way. Oh, the old dragon with his sword, the black heart. Climbing up the narrow way. Praise him, praise him. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. The Holy Ghost, 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 the Holy the Holy Ghost. We call up, we call, 
we call on fire. The Holy Ghost. Fire. 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 Oh Lord, oh Lord, hear my cry when I call on you. Oh Lord, oh Lord, hear my cry when I call on you. I've been to the fire, I've been to the rain. I have no desire to go back again. Now the time is hard. I've got to hold on. Oh, I won't pray down and cry. I've got to be strong. Oh, oh Lord, oh Lord, hear my cry when I call on you. Hear my cry when I call on you. Let me have the church to stand. Hallelujah, everyone in the house to stand. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I now take myself out of the way and hand over this rest of the service along with the Holy Ghost, Pastor Williams, in the care of Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me hear you say hallelujah. One more time, let me hear you say hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah. You may be seated. Hallelujah everywhere. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm so happy to be in men's convention. Let me hear you say hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And we have, praise the Lord, somebody. We have Deacon Allen around the back. I'm just going to call him and ask him to come. Hallelujah. And bring his greeting. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't have to be long, but be strong. Somebody say praise the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To all my father's children, please accept greetings in that holy and matchless name of Jesus Christ. Let your power fall. All up in this place, you have won. Okay. Hallelujah. Let me hear you say hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is calling strong men to serve him. Somebody say hallelujah. Glory be to God. Man of one wife. Somebody say hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Who take care of his children. Somebody say praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 I can testify. Somebody say praise the Lord. God bless him. Somebody say hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We also have in our midst, exhort to Graham, glory be to God, from the voice of restoration ministries, Bishop Grant, oh glory be to God, hallelujah, a feeling him, somebody say hallelujah, and he's also the men's director. I'm just going to ask him to come, hallelujah, and say even one sentence to the gentleman, come on, glory be to God, put those hands together for him as he comes. Hallelujah. Come on, men, just stand up in the house and lift your hands and shout an hallelujah. Come on, men, we're stronger than that. Shout an hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah to the love of God. I want to greet our pastor, to all the men president. I greet you, I greet Rastam, and greet each and every man tonight in the care of the Holy Spirit. I greet you also on the behalf of Bishop Reverend Troy Grant from the Voice of Restoration Ministry. You know, when I read through the scripture and I memorize and I also think about the story of the prodigal son. 
And I was think about the life of men. Now, I also want to tell someone that, hey, pig's food don't sweet. Glory be to God. The water in mess don't sweet. Glory be to God. Gang don't sweet. Hallelujah to the Lord of God. War don't sweet. That's all don't sweet. What do you want to come try the man called Jesus? Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I said the best thing that could ever happen to mankind is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So, man, stay, stay focused in God. Glory be to God. You know, I was, I was, I was looking around. It's, it's, it's a long time I go into a church and don't see so much men. Glory be to God. Everywhere I go see them, I just probably can count the men on your finger. But glory be to God. We can see man stand up and represent Christ. Uh, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Glory, glory. I love it. I love it. Let me hear you say hallelujah. Let me hear you one more time say hallelujah. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We're going to prove the doubters wrong. Praise the Lord, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We have Brother David Lewis, praise the Lord, hallelujah, from the Liberty Hall of Pastor Lake. Pastor Mackenzie is just going to come, hallelujah, with his greetings in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. Oh, I'd like to first greet our pastor. God bless you, my dear. Our sister and pastor, um, youth president, God bless you. I'd like to greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ on the behalf of Pastor Joseph Mackenzie. Unfortunately, she's not able to make it tonight as she's over on the other side, overseas. I'd also like to greet her, her the church on the, her husband's behalf, Elder Mackenzie. Uh, I greet you also on behalf of the men's department. So let me take all cur um, courtesies out of the way. I'd like to also greet our brotherhood department here. And as our brother said, first I've gone in a long while to an assembly. <laughs> Amen. I was sitting there and thinking the same, same thing, Pastor. First, I've gone to assembly and see so many brothers. So I must say, God is doing a, a good job <laughs> on this side of the vineyard. Let me say, though the battle may be hot, <laughs> on the conflict sore, though rocky the road, Halama, Shanda, that you're traveling on, brothers, bridging, hold on a little longer, Halama, Shanda, take Jesus at his word. He'll carry you too. Lord of mercy. I'm alone. I got through the battle. I'm alone. I got through some rough time. I'm alone. Can't find money to, to, to put the gas in the car. It's me alone. The co worker giving me a problem at work. Some, it's only me alone. I've been struggling the body. No, the battle may be hot. Lord of mercy. And the conflict sore. Don't rock in the road that you're traveling on. Alamashanda. Hold on. Hold on a little longer. Hold on a little longer. Take Jesus at his word. The scripture said, that which he has started is more than able to complete it. Sisters, he has started something. Hold on. Sometimes we're about to give up, you know, just as a girl in the corner. Just as about to go in the corner, you know, you give up. But if you, you finish and go in the corner, you see the, the crown of righteousness. And when this battle is over, let me be myself. Let me be myself. And when this battle is over, we shall wear a crown in the new, in the new Jerusalem. God bless you, Regine. Keep the faith on this side of the vineyard. The Bible said God himself Coming down, Pastor. Sometime when the Japanese people have left off. The scripture said, God himself shall descend from heaven. And I always wonder, why is it that God has so much angels in heaven? Why am I forgot to come back himself? And you know what come to me? There are some angels in heaven. The Bible said they are jealous of us. You didn't know that? It's in the scripture. The Bible said the angels in heaven, they wonder why God loves us so. So I'm just imagine if God said to, the, to, 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 to Gabriel, go and call my children. Maybe Gabriel and said that one day, Lord of mercy, appear nasty lifestyle he used to live in. You know. Maybe that one day stay. If him said, Michael, Michael, I said that she, Lord Jesus, Lord the lifestyle. No, sir. But the Bible said, God himself, Echo Shama, shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel. 
and the dead in Christ shall rise first, and we that are alive and remain shall be caught up. Oh God, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. I feel in God. Come on, let me hear you say hallelujah. Jesus, let me hear you say hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Pastor Kelly. Glory be to God. We have no one made Pastor Kelly. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. A wonderful man of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. One I've known for so long. Hallelujah. And he's standing still. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So God, glory be to God. Go ahead. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm glad to be a part of the family of God. And it really bring back some things like 40 years ago when I see the men rejoicing tonight. It brings back memories of what I used to see when I was a young man. I'm 55 years old in the faith. But believe me, the first I've seen so much young men once, one place. This is a sign that the men are ready to take charge by force. By force. We'll take it by force. Come on. By force. We'll take it by force. Come on. We come here. We get. We now go and left it. Come on. Come here. We'll take it by force. Come on. Oh, by force. We'll take it by force. Yeah, by force. We'll take it by force. Hey. Oh, we come here. We take it by force. somebody. We have a warrior. A soldier. Ever ready. Somebody say hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Because he depends on Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I want you to put on oh, no, no. jam out. Praise the Lord. Glory. Said, I've got somebody with me to share my heavy load. I feel his presence daily, every day, every day. Though troubles overtake me, and all has been wrong. Oh, my God. 
Amen. You say hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Put your hands together and make welcome our men's director, assistant pastor James, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let me hear somebody worship the Lord. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Mighty God, let me greet the Holy Spirit, which is the head of my life. Glory to God, to Pastor K. Williams, to all the Rastam Associate greetings in no other name but the name of Jesus Christ. To all my brothers and sisters in Christ, accept holy greetings. Greetings. Glory to God. I like what I'm really seeing tonight. Never in a hundred years we gather together where the female is not outnumber the male. Oh God Almighty, but tonight it is. I, I, I want to hear somebody shout a man night. Shout a man night. Oh God, where are the men? Where are the men? Where are the? Where are the men? Where? Are Oh God, I, I better not go there. I'm not the preacher tonight. I'm not the preacher tonight. I'm going to behave myself. In this atmosphere, we need a word. We need, we need, we need a word. We need a word. Good God Almighty, at this time, coming to us to introduce the speaker. No other than Pastor Blake in care of the Holy Ghost. Put your hands together while he comes. Don't you trouble Zion Don't you trouble Zion Zion has the key to open sinners eyes Don't you trouble Zion Oh yo 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 Oh yo yo God Almighty, hold on, I preach at time. Amen. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Who did not boost me tonight? Who did not boost me tonight? Amen. Sairi. Man of Sairi. Sairi. Man of Sairi. Jesus carried the cross. Thirty and two God, God Almighty, me tell you, me, me, me I try to be myself. Me I try to be myself. But I, I, I like the feel. I, you know, I, 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 I was thinking that tonight probably I could be one of the, one of the, one of the do night, but the best night, you know. Come I want everyone to say the best night tonight. Come on. My 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 Lord is sweet. My 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 Lord is sweet. 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 Sweet, my lord is 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 sweet. Sweet, yeah, I'm not sweet, so rice not sweet, so. Sweet, my lord is 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 the preacher is coming. The preacher is coming. But I'm feeling extremely excited tonight. Oh God Almighty, I'm feeling so excited tonight. I'm feeling too excited. Anybody feeling excited? Me and the man of God said, ne never in a hundred years. We have never seen anything like this. We have what? One, two, three, four, man, four, five women in the house. To about, um, 
we, we are doing five to one tonight. We are doing five to one tonight. We're doing five to one tonight. Ah, I got a praise. I got a praise and I got to let it out. Ah, I got a praise. I got a praise and I got to let it out. I got a praise. I got a praise. I got a praise and I got to let it out. I got a praise. Oh, when I think about Jesus, what is done for me? When I think about Jesus, how he set me free, you wanna then? Oh, night! Oh, when I think about Jesus, and what is done for me? When I think about Jesus, how he set me free, you wanna shout, 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 Oh, night! Oh, when I think about Jesus, what is done for me? When I think about Jesus and how he set me free, I want to dance, 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 Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 praise him, hallelujah, praise him, hallelujah. Oh, On my way to heaven, 1158, don't be late, 1159, be on time, midnight, 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 1157, on my way to heaven, 1158, don't be late, 1159, be on time, midnight, 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 midnight. Yeah. Oh, 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 praise him, praise him, praise him, hey. hallelujah, praise him, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah, praise him, hallelujah, 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 oh. Come on, somebody open up your mouth. I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling. i feeling. That everything is going to be all right. I've got a feeling. That everything is going to be all right. Say, I've got a feeling that everything's gonna be alright. Be alright. Be alright. Be alright. Hallelujah. I feel like it's ready now. Hallelujah. I feel like we're ready now. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I heard somebody say, when the saints begun to give God some praise, Hallelujah. then the Lord shall have his way. When the praises go up tonight, come Hallelujah. on, somebody, open up your mouth and give God a praise. Hallelujah. In this atmosphere tonight, I want to, I want to, <laughs> Lord God Almighty, I said, Jeremiah says he's on. Fire. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold hey, on a minute. Hey, 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 hey. I said the preacher ah. time. I said the preacher time. Hey, coach. I said the preacher ah. time. Hey, oh, God ah. Almighty. In this atmosphere. Ah. In this atmosphere. Oh, God ah. Almighty. Fire. 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 Hey, shut up. Fire. Hey, fire. fire. Hey, shaya, shaya, shaya. Fire, 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 f
Jesus, thank you, Jesus, God Almighty. Yes, we're ready now. We're ready now, right? Amen. The instigator, stay far, stay far. God, instigator, instigate me tonight, you know. Lord God Almighty. Oh, Lord of mercy. I'm not going to follow the musician either. Musician, hold on, hold on, hold on. Me we know see the same God of morning and same God of evening. Master God of God, yes. But at this, so you must stay tonight, right? This, so you must stay God tonight, and I'm gonna deal with you tonight in the word. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, in this atmosphere, let us all stand. Let us all stand. I, I want to present to us tonight a one of my brothers in Christ. One of my brothers in Christ. Praise be to God. We have been serving together. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. I, I don't know why I went. I went me and over to preach at the of life. God Almighty. Praise the name of Jesus. And so tonight, hallelujah. I just want to, I want to, I want you guys just to have a open heart tonight. And a mind that is willing to accept the word of God. For I, I know he, he, he likes to stay in the lane that he believes that he should be in. I, I'm speaking from my perspective. You know, he, he likes to stay in our lane when we believe that it only is. Amen. But then there are times when the Lord uses him in our next lane. I, I, I think tonight may just be one of those nights. Mm -hmm. I, 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 don't know, I don't know if tonight is that night, but I believe tonight could just be one of those nights. But he's a man of God who I have come to know for some years now. And, you know, we, well, I've known him for a few years now. Well, that's really a good while. God Almighty is a long time. 
but then you know we surfed together as well um, up until up until last year September, August September thereabout we surfed together. Praise be to God into the vineyard, and I can tell you this is a man who knows the word. I can tell you that much. He knows the word of God, and is a firm believer of the word. Amen. And he's one that he carries indeed a teaching anointing, but then every now and then he shifts to something more. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. But is a man of God that I can tell you whenever he speaks, he speaks from the heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he speaks what the Lord lays upon his heart to the people. Praise be to God. I think we have lost the essence of that in church today where preachers no longer preach from the heart. Where preachers preach from the YouTube and they preach from the Google and they preach from wherever else they can get a word. But when you can find a man that will take a word from God and give to the people, oh, glory to God, hallelujah, that's somebody that you, you should be happy to have in your midst. And so tonight, he's a man of one wife as well. One wife. Because if you need to put up two fingers, we just take over. If you need to put up two fingers, we start preach. And you need to put up two fingers, we start preach. Amen. Praise be to God, hallelujah. But then, <laughs> he's a... He's a man of one wife, amen. And he's a, he's a wonderful musician as well. He's a very skilled keyboard one player. Director. Praise. Yeah. Well, on. Yeah. Yeah. too much people know him in our house tonight. You know. <laughs> God Almighty, yes, yes, amen. A wonderful choir director as well. He's a wonderful singer as well. Amen. Praise. He has, his wife is a wonderful singer as well. It was circumstances why she's not here tonight. But to God be the glory, he's here to just impart to us. And so, congregation, I want you to receive tonight. My brother in Christ, even though some people may look down upon him and myself, but let me talk to somebody tonight. He's my brother. He doesn't have to be your brother, sister, Pastor Williams. But he's my brother tonight. Pastor James, he doesn't have to be your brother, but he's my brother in Christ tonight. And he's one will, that is known by his earthly name. You can, I don't know if you can call him brother. You're you humble like that, sir. Brother Kirk Higgins, but he was elevated at some point in his life where the Lord made him a minister. And I say the Lord because many of us are being made ministers by man. But the Lord made him a minister in which he definitely ministers the gospel. So tonight, congregation, help me welcome Minister Kirk Higgins from the Liberty All Apostolic in Jesus' name. that husband tonight. Oh, see what the Lord has done. Believe for that marriage tonight. Oh, see what Hallelujah. Believe for your healing tonight. What we have waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. For that baby tonight. Oh, see what the Lord. What we 
have waited for. Believe in God for that house tonight. Oh, see what the Lord echo shot. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See what the Lord has done. What we have waited for. What we have waited for. Has come to pass. Has come to pass. See what the Lord. Tonight for that new car. Oh, see, see what the Lord, Lord has done. Hallelujah. Tonight I sing this song by faith. I am singing as if it was already done. I'm singing as if I've already received what I want from God. So I'm saying, come and see it. Ekoroba. Even though it's not there. Come and see what the Lord has done. What I have waited for. What I have been praying for. Has come to pass. Come and see what the Lord has done. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Again, you may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to give God who's the head of my life. I want to give him thanks for life and mercy. I want to give him thanks for not destroying me when I was deserving to be destroyed. That's a wretched, a wretched and just and done person can stand before the royal people of God to share a word tonight. So I'm humble to speak to you. Even though it's not 100 people, it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. Hallelujah, Jesus. And for the men who are here, we give God thanks for you. The musicians, this is like a family reunion because Brother Ryan, the brother that played the bass, JPUA Congress member, who again? Um, I've seen you before. I've seen you before. I don't remember where, but I've seen you before. So this is like a reunion for me. I want to greet my brother over there in the chain. Thank you for being here. You could have been elsewhere minded tonight. But you have taken the time to be in the house of God. So I just want to acknowledge you. I heard that you have a wonderful week. Monday night was good. Last night was awesome. I got an overflow last night. I'm not planning to do the overflow tonight. I'm just here to give the benediction. And leave. So you may not see me again. But I'm just giving you the word that God gave me to give to you. And I said, said, Pastor Blake, I'm ready. Pastor Blake called me some time ago and said that there's an engagement I would like you to speak. I said, Pastor, you know what I do already, you know. I'm not an evangelist. I'm not somebody who carried the fire brand. I am somebody that is going to come with the word and a teacher, as we mentioned before. But tonight I want us to be interactive because we are a small setting. So we're gonna just talk, we're gonna reason things out. My pastor at the back there, I can't remember your name. Greetings in the name of Jesus. So we are having men's convocation. Men. We are so few in the church. Sometimes we are overlooked. Sometimes it seems as if the men are of none effect. 
my time here to strengthen the men tonight and I'm here to correct the men tonight. So not because it's a men night, I'm going to just give you men scriptures and boost you up, but there should be some sort of rebuke sometimes and admonition at times. Any child that just get what they want all the time, they're going to be spoiled. So we have to have a balanced diet where we get admonition and then we are chastised. Everybody agree with that? Praise the Lord. So for the night lesson and for the lesson for this men's convocation, which we speak about the prodigal son arise and go back home. Ha. No, when you look at the prodigal son, some people think that that is that is his name or his father is the prodigal and he's the son. No, prodigal means wasteful. Prodigal means excessive, wasteful, lustful. So when they say that the prodigal son, it just means the wasteful son, the lustful son, the excessive son. So we know that this man had two sons and the younger said, I want to the road. Give me my thing and let me go on. And he went. Now, I want to use this as it relates to the church now and the men in the church. I don't really want to talk too much about the prodigal son here. But I just want to talk about man. Man. Man in society, not just in the church. Because men in society also need to return home. Not only the men who are saved need to return home, but even the men who are in society, the governments, all of these men need to return from where they are fallen. So tonight, this message is going to go for my brother there in the chain. It's going to go for the saved. It's going to go for the old. It's going to go for the young. It's going to go for the unmarried. It's going to go for every type of men that exist. But it's going to be short though, I promise. So I just want to speak to the men. So we know that the first man was Adam. No, to just do it quickly. I don't want to go to all the scriptures. We know that Adam was the first man and he was created in the image and likeness of God. So after God made the world and he dressed the world or the earth, he made man. And he placed man in the garden of Eden. Right. So man was given dominion over everything. Now, if you think the prodigal son was privileged, look at Adam. Just imagine the one man who owned this whole world. He had dominion over birds, dogs, fish, any creature you can think of. He had dominion to call and send them. He was wealthy. His father is God. So there was no lacking to Adam. God took him and God placed him in the garden. God gave him the charge to name everything that was created. Every animal. I'm just trying to cut across now. Every animal. Adam named them. God said, it's not good for man to be alone. So this is what I'm going to do for him now. I'm going to give him somebody who is more on his level of intellect to speak to him to relate on his level when it comes to his emotions because God is very higher than man so even though God used to speak to Adam in the cool of the evening he couldn't relate to Adam on a man's level he never brought forth another man but he took the rib he took the rib and he created a woman now when Adam see this beautiful creature, he said, you are woman because you have been taken from man. So woman taken from man. And then Adam had a companion that can reason on his level. Everything was going on good. Adam have intimacy like the birds. Adam could lie on his wife's breast and be comforted like the monkeys. So he wasn't lacking in any way. He had food, 
He had water and he had a meat. Everything was beautiful for man. You want to own this world. You're rich and you have a nice wife. Everything good. Adam was told not to eat. After three, after knowledge of good and but he can eat of any other tree. Now, Adam and his wife were in the garden happily. And as we know, she was deceived by the adversary, the devil. She came and she brought the fruit to Adam, and Adam ate. Long and short of the story, Adam and Eve was cast out of the garden. Adam lose everything that he had. He lost everything that he had. The Lord even cursed the hurt because of Adam. The Lord even put a woe or a curse on the woman because she sinned. And man have to work until the soil all the days of his life because he has disobeyed. Now from living in the kings of kings house, dwelling in this beautiful garden with every fruit. I think there is a tree in the garden that bear one fruit every month for the year. So that tree never run out of fruit and that is a tree of life. That tree bear one fruit every month. So Adam had different fruit to eat from the tree of life. And because of disobedience, he lost everything. No, the prodigal, being prodigal in this new age also means to be wayward, to be stubborn, to have your own way. So even though Adam never left, but he had his own way by disobeying God, by eating the fruit. So the prodigal son left, but Adam was kicked out. We as a church have been placed in a place of royalty. We have our God as our king. He's our provider. He gives us everything that we need. But many of the time we become wayward. Many of the time we become wayward that we want to do our own thing. And just like Adam, many of us get kicked out. Shall we bless the Lord, everybody? Shall we bless the Lord? All right, so this is my foundation. Man, if you love the thing, I study this thing, because if this paper did blow away, I'm going to never study it then. I'll be in a rut. But I just want to put out something. It was Adam who gave Eve her gender title. So we have these people named LGBTQ who are trying to say in that gender is fluid. So therefore, your little son can wear a dress, and they are saying allow him to wear the dress because lo- allow him to express his, himself. And then the girls are allowed now to dress like boys from their young, and they said you should allow them. So you have some who are non-binary, some are fluid, some want to be referred to as he, she, or he, him. So there is a whole heap of confusion in this world. So Eve, when Adam saw her, he said that you are a woman. So when them said there is no gender, and when they asked them what is a woman, they are saying that it, it depends on how you feel that would make you a woman. It depends on how you feel in your body that would make you a female, or how you feel in your body that would make you a male. So you know, when, you know, we normally have tomboys, and we have to watch him a tomboy, you know, and we have to watch him a sissy. So when we would bash it, they are saying no, allow them to express themselves. But men have to be men. And men should remain men. Why? Not because we have a different sexual organ than the woman. But because we were made in the image and in the likeness of God. 
we are his representative in this life. And we are supposed to shine the light of righteousness as long as we are in this world. And we should make sure that no devil from hell, no perverted spirit rise up in society and take our children. What they are doing, they are trying to take our children. Because they know that we are tough already and our minds set. So what they are trying to do is to get your sons and your daughters to confuse the son that he's not a man, he is a woman. He's not a boy, he's a girl. So men, we are made in the image and likeness of God. Now there's a little contradiction that in the image itself, he made them male and female. Now, let me just clarify that thing. As you heard, you know what, let us see if we can get into some scriptures. <laughs> I never want you to go into the scripture right now, but sometimes you have to prove something. Sometimes you have to prove something. One more thing before I get there. Before the fall of man, his wife was only known as wife or woman. There was no name given unto her until after the fall. And Adam says, thou shall be called woman because you shall be the mother of all the living. So even woman was given her name, Eve, by a man. Now look at this. I want the woman to see how important the man is. He named everything that God created. He gave woman or gender to identify who she is you're a woman then he gave the woman her name Thou shall be called eve because you are the mother of all the living in society there's a fight between men and women as it relates to who is the head and i'm talking about holy ghost feel women Baptism in Jesus' name, women. Women who preach the gospel, they still struggle with this to say that there is no head there. We are living in a time now where we are equal. Remember, the head of the man is God. And man is the head of the woman. And the woman... And the head, let me do it again. The head of man is Christ. The head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. That is all the authority going. Now remember, Christ, man, woman, and the head of Christ is God. Now we are apostolic and I don't want to confuse you. But we know that Jesus is the son, is the lamb. So when we're talking about Jesus and God, we're not talking about two gods. We are talking about two manifestations. He was God in creation, Son in redemption, and the Holy Ghost in the... He is God in creation, Son in redemption, and... And the Holy Ghost in the church. So now we want to get it right in the church. When it comes to husband and wives in the church, let it not be any conflict of who is the head. Women who are not of the church, let it not be any conflict who is the head. Because there is conflict. And for those of us who are married, <laughs> if we are honest, we have conflicts. It is a men convention. I'm going to leave your sisters for now. <laughs> but men, stand in your God-given authority. You never choose to be a man. You were born a man. And the responsibility that is placed upon you, sometimes we don't want it. Sometimes we don't really want dead for no wife because she rebellious. Sometimes we don't really want to do all of these things because they are very rebellious and them know. Mm. 
Mm. It's not about the women tonight. Back to the men. So when we were placed in this position, it's not like we wanted it. We were born this way. And then when we grow up, we see that these responsibilities is laid upon our shoulders and we're like, so what if we don't want to do it? But it's not your choice. It's what God has placed on you. It's not your choice if you want to be a provider, a protector, or a priest. It's your responsibility from God. And if you don't do it, God is going to hold you accountable. The woman have their charge, but that is for a woman's convention. I don't want to sleep over the side because I don't want to lose the women. I see that I have them and I don't want to lose them tonight. Amen. Amen. No, we have a woman pastor here and we have Pastor Williams. <laughs> My apology. My apology. Pastor Williams. Assistant Pastor James and Elder Williams. Because my brother already did the greeting. Sorry about that. Now you have a female pastor and a male. Can you please come up here, please? It's going to take a strong man who is not insecure to stand beside a woman. And you can stand here for me, please. It's going to take a strong man, a man, not insecure. To know that in the eyes of God, he is placed on a higher plane than the woman and to serve under, uh, no, let me not say under, sorry, to serve with her. But when you're a man, you are not intimidated by a woman doing anything. When you're a real man, you are not intimidated by a woman doing anything because in the church and this is where I'm going to read a scripture now Galatians 3 verse 28 I'm going to ask Minister Blake to read this for me and I just want to just set this straight and then I move on because I have some pastors who believe that a woman should not be a pastor but they don't know who is a pastor hallelujah Galatians 3 verse 28. So we're going to deal with this issue before I move on because we're talking about men. And some Hallelujah. pastor would believe that or they would not come here because you have a pastor who is a female. I have a pastor who is female as well. And I'm not intimidated by her because I know my position. Yes. Can I read that for me please? Galatians 3 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. Read that again for me. Read that again for me, please. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. There is neither male nor female. So let me just get this straight. You see, in the church, gender doesn't count. Come on. When you're home with your wife, you are the head. When you come in the church, you are brother Williams or sister Jones or James. When you leave the church walls, you become head again. Let me explain this. I'm talking to the men. When you come in church, God is the head of both of you. And you are now focusing on God. But when you step out this wall, she starts to say, honey, what are we going to have for dinner? You say, well, you get, you get what I'm saying. So there is no contradiction here. There is neither male nor female, but we are all one. We are all what? One in God. Thank you very much. You can go and sit down. But let me tell you this now. When that man stepped in his house, he is your head. Men, when you, when you preside in your house, 
you are the head. And I'm going to touch some things why women don't respect most men as head. And there's a reason why this is happening in the household of saints because the men are lacking. You can't say, I was made in the image of God and I am the head of you if you're not going to live it. If you're not going to demonstrate what God placed upon you, it's going to be hard for your wife to submit to you. Even though your wife should, she's going to question the authority. Because you are lacking. She has to be a virtuous woman to follow your lead. If you are leading, if shut it. You're supposed to lead with your shoulders square and she's supposed to feel confident to follow your lead. <laughs> Women, tell me if I'm saying something that is true. Women, tell me, am I right? Mm -hmm. There are three fundamental uh, vacation that is placed upon a man. Three. The first one is, <laughs> let us read 1 Corinthians 11.13. 1 Corinthians 11.13. I'm trying to put some scriptures in here because I realize that the spirit that I'm feeling, I just want to go. But I just want to put some scriptures in. It's going to slow me down, but 1 Corinthians 11, 13. Let us read this before I go into those three functions of, of a man. 1 Corinthians eleven thirteen. Verse 3, sorry. Oh, verse. sorry, verse 3. All right. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. So I just want to read that before I move forward. Now, where is this written? In the word of God. Amen. Women who are of the church should stand firm on this and don't question it. Women who are not in the church, it goes for you as well. It's not because he's saved or not. Adam wasn't baptized in Jesus' name. Adam never went to any church. Amen. And it stood for him. It stood for your... It's not a woman conference. Let us go back to the men. <laughs> Sorry, my sisters. <laughs> so there are three fundamental responsibilities that is laid upon a man. The first is man as a provider. No, me give you your props. You are the head. You were made in God's image and likeness. And the woman is supposed to respect you and subject herself to you. Mm -hmm. Let me say this before I get there. Before Adam and Eve fell, they were equal. After Adam and Eve fell, man became the head of the woman. And God placed it so. So before the fall of man, Adam and Eve were in the garden living together. But after the fall, man become the head of the woman and the woman should be subjected to him in all things. In how much things? It's not a woman conference. Let us get back to the men. So man as a provider right men what it is to provide men where you think it is to provide all right my ask a different way as a man what are the ways that you think you can provide let us read first timothy <laughs> first timothy 5 verse 8 
First I'm going to go in the scriptures now. Check. First Timothy 5, verse 8. As a man, what are the ways that you think you can provide? First Timothy 5, verse 8. No, I want the men to respond to this. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's a men's conference, a convocation. Amen. Yes, go ahead. All right, so the man can provide guidance in prayer. Right, Amen. so that is man as a priest. I'm talking about man as provider. Yes. Talking about providing, working, money, trade, food, plant grown. Read that to me, please. First Timothy 5, verse 8. But if any provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he hath denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Read that again for me, please. But if any provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he hath denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. No, we know that Father says one of the worst. Worst. I don't know what to call it. I want to the worst. I don't know what they call it. What they call it? It's the worst, whatever they then call it. Worst and why? Why is it the worst? Men, why in your understanding, you think Father's Day is one of the less celebrated holidays or whatever they want to call it? Why you think? Men, remember, you know, you can answer even though you take care of your family, you know, it not look like a yard, like you're not eating them. So I'm asking you, <laughs> why you think it is one of the least celebrated days to celebrate parents? Because what? Because they are not providing. They are not providing. Right. So now we're going to look at it, men. You get the person impregnated, the child come. Why? I mean, I think of him, you know. I mean, I think of him, you know. Remember, say, at one time. Remember, say, at the one time it happened, you know. I mean, I think of him. Remember, say, I never mean when I did that link, you know. And they find all different excuses and they dodge. Man is supposed to be a provider and not only for his family but for his society. Let me say this again. A man should provide for his society meaning all the men in this community should come together and make sure that nobody got to bed without having a meal. The men should be so united and concerned about the society or the community that they would have a union of men and they will know all the single parents, all the mothers that don't have any fathers. And they will try to come up and find ways and means to take care of these family. They will find the widows who don't have any husband and she's childless. And they'll try to find somewhere to house her and they'll find somewhere to give her medication or food. Men should be able to take care of the community, find ways to fix the road, find ways to clean up the, the streets of the bushes, find ways to get rid of the the, the, um, the elements who want to rob and steal and, and, and to cause terror in the community. It's not just to rule over your house. So a lot of us, we are taking charge of our homes, but we are not looking at our neighbors. Amen. Amen. So when man was placed here to represent God, they were not just placed here to just take care of your family. We read the scripture in your own soul. But they were also placed here to take care of the less fortunate. Yes. So the men in the church are failing and men in our communities and our villages and societies are failing and God is watching 
and he's going to judge us. How much single mothers you know in your community that their children are depraved of good education and nourishment and clothing and we pass them and we come to church and we don't have any care about them. We don't come together as men and say, let us look at these sisters or these women. What can we do? You don't think we can do it? You don't think we can bring a box of grocery to each house every week? Yes. You don't think we can do that? Amen. Even one house a week? You don't think we can start that? You think God is pleased that we are having food and throwing it away and there is somebody down the road who is malnourished? Ekoroba city. I am guilty as well. So I'm not here like Jesus. When God gave me this word at first, it me. So men, we are providers. And we should find something to do with our hands. You have no excuse that you can't mind your pain. Men, we have no excuse. If you can't give them something once a month, give them. Provide. You have land you can farm. Sell back juice. Swallow your pride. You are a man. Provide. Boy, nothing not go on, you know. Without it tough, you know, man, and I'm just there in I give you and I go and show go on and I see what the JP can do for me if you save them can give one little road work. Seasonal work. I go up on one little side, go see if I can swing two buckets. Seasonal. But God gave you the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding and the resources to use your hands, your brain to provide. I remember looking at, looking at my grandfather. So my grandfather was a police officer. But he had goats, come on for Guinea, Guinea hen, he had um, pigs, cow, he had a shop, and he's still a police. He is providing on multiple levels. He have him own mutton. He have him own pork. He have him own beef. He have him own milk. He have him own egg. He have him own chicken. Then he plant fruit trees. Then he have a shop. Then he have police. Where have we fallen? How have we fallen so poorly that we are not carrying on this tradition in this time? One source of income is no income. And we learn this by Corona. Do you want to call it again? Corona? COVID. We learn this from COVID-19 that one source of income is no income. The one job can't work alone, men. As a provider, you can't tell her, say, they lay me off. It's a responsibility to provide. You can't tell her that. You're failing. You need to return home. I'm going to finish you now. Shortly, but just let me get this out. In time of old, when a young man leaves school, he learn a trade yes. or implanting ground. Yes. The second step is buy a piece of land. Or if they have the land, then plant on the land. The third step is build one boardroom, one one room. And when they build one room, they say, all right, we can put one goat or so. On the land, I want pig, tie pig, on the tambourine tree. And we have some command for me. Then walk up and down and pick one already, we kill one. Then he walk to Mr. Jana and say, I know I have a little daughter that I like, you know, so. I mean, I like to meet her. Mr. John said, where you are? Yes, come on, come on. Bible is, come on. Bible. 
Tell me if I'm lying. No, these men, these men were taught to provide from early. So from there are 18, 19 them own land. By them are 20, them build one room. And by 21, then go down a mass jan and say, You have a nice daughter, they know. Mm-hmm. And Mr. John said, Where you have? And he said, Well, me have three head of cow, me have one ram, me have some, some, some common fold, me have no one room, and quarter year car land. And Mr. John said, We are going to go look for me. And he, and he walks and he said, Hmm. And he looked and said, Boy, you're the good for yourself. Then he go back and he go talk to you, look one and say, you, you know, so and so from down there, so. Good boy. Because they might ask you. They might ask you. Yes, which family you come from? Who you related to? You are bad breed. You know what you are. 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 You know what and, and he said, yes, Papa. And then get a formal meeting with Papa and Amigo. And Papa said, you like him? You like her? Okay, when you can get married. No, people are married for hungry belly. <laughs> Wife hungry, you hungry, picking you hungry, but yeah, man. Oh, that wife is going to submit to you. Let us be real men. Oh, is that wife going to submit to you? When you are falling beneath the standard that God placed you. You shouldn't get married until you can take care of yourself. In the church, a lot of young people are marrying because they say that it's better to marry than to burn. It's better to learn a trade than to be in the bed hungry. It's better to take your time and build yourself than to have divorce because of lack of money, lack of provision. Amen. Man should be a what? Provider. Amen. Find something though. And if you have any children out there, that they turn the back on. It's not too late. It's not too late to be a man. Because a man doesn't mean that you have a male organ. <laughs> it means that you are a provider first. If you have any children out there that you have neglected. It's not too late to turn around men. It's not too late to return home. To the farmer statue that men had in the 40s. 50s, 60s, 70s. Those men were respected not only by their family but their community because their hand were extended to other homes. They were fathers to other children. Am I talking truth here? So they just never cared for their own family. They fed other kids and they closed them and they gave them food and they gave them money for scholarships. They extended themselves to their community. Men in the church, let us arise and go back home to that statue that God has left us in. I'm telling you, I don't want to say too much. But that child that you're not taking care of, if you don't have any money, just spend time with them. Listen, you don't have no money, fine. Do you have time? Can you play with that child? Can you go fishing or teach that child a trade? Teach that child something that the child can remember you for something. I have a father who is a provider from the day I was born. He's still in my life now. But I can't remember a time playing with him. I can't remember a time when we had a good laugh. Or we were just 
kicking a ball or making a kite or fishing or shooting birds. He provided, but there was no relationship. And even though he provided for me, it would have meant so much to me if I could remember something nice. Food, clothes, school, relationship. I love you. You can be what you want to be. You need to provide comfort. You need to provide that level of. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I don't know how much men can relate to what I'm saying. No relationship. They did their best that they can, all they can, but they still miss. Because even though they had food, we never had any relationship, men. The father never said, We love you. Right now, I tell my father, I said, I love you. I say, mm -hmm. <laughs> I forced our relationship with my father till I gave up. But I understood why. When I spoke to him, he said that he never got it either. We have to break the cycle, men. Yes. Some of us were raised rough. We were neglected. The father never knew it. The father never wanted it. But now that we are fathers, we need to now do better. We need to break the cycle. As men of God, and even out there in society, those unsaved men, you need to do better. Men need to return to that position. When there is a conflict in the community, somebody's going to call mass run. Mass run, and a police. Mass run, and a soldier. But mass run was respected. Mass run was a statue in the community that even if you have one letter where you want, you can't read. Mass run, read a letter for me. Everybody got to him for everything, so tell him I forgive him JP. Yes, yes. Because he was a real man of statue, while the other men. A lot of us were raised in family that we were given possessions and we wasted it. There's a lot of young men who get lands and sell it and buy a car. So your father said, the side of the Jonah, don't I tambourine tree of Mary over this of the Joseph, and don't I back down the so I saw on a piece of land. And when you become of age, before you do what your father did as a man, your up was to what? Sell it for buy under. Because I under run now. Me no want to land. Me are 19. Remember the land. What is a piece of land at 19 to me when your father at 19 and grandfather at 19 had a house on it? So you find out that men has fallen and dropped the baton. So when my father give me the baton, I me if you run because of to my son or my daughter, me say, me no want it. You might do it land, old bushy bushy land, stony stony land. May I sell this? And buy one bike. Sell you and buy one visa. I got a foreign. So you find out that men are falling from that standard that our father set. Remember that it was set. Anybody in here can testify that your grandfather or your great grandfather left something? Even a one room? One piece of stony land? So you could inherit it and move on? us at 40 and 30 and 50 we know nothing our grandfathers at 30 had 12 children already land cow goat pig sheep at halibut sorry i don't speak english even the the crossbreed sheep them will look dirty him of them so we can't hungry and yet still him still a work. And yet still your mother still a sew or a bake or have a shop. That's right. 
provide. We are fallen. We need to go back home. In order for our wives to be subjected to us, we have to go back home. We have to provide. Your wife shouldn't be worrying. Oh, the light bill I go pay. Go where I go eat tomorrow. Go to school if you go go. We are filled. Man as a protector. Proverbs 31, 1 to 9. No, I know that this is not what you really wanted, but this is the benediction. You get the good preaching Monday and Tuesday. This is the benediction now. Man as our protector. Now I know that man should rise up in the church and preach. We are doing it, but we're still lacking. We are preach. We are do. We are prophesy. We are do all of that. But we're still lacking. The battle is still not full. And a man, you should be a full man. You know, a piece of man, half a man, waste man. You understand? So we might find ourselves in God's eyes being a waste man. Because when we should have been filled with all of these three functions, we find out that we're lacking. So yes, you are provide. Are you a protector? Read that for me. Proverbs 31, 1 to 9, please. Is it Proverbs 31? Yeah. This is a mother admonition to her son as a king. She's, ad- she's giving him counsel and how to be a good king, to be a good man. Because you are kings in a men. Men, you are kings. All right, so one to three? One to nine. One to nine. Yeah. So Proverbs chapter 31. One to nine. Verse one to nine says, The words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him, what my son and what the son of my womb and what the son of my vows, give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroy kings. All right. So what am I say? Nobody know. Try to change my word. Don't be a man whore. So what she's saying to her son, don't be a man or 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 don't give your strength unto a woman or nor ways that which destroyeth kings. So giving your strength to a woman is to be weak. Yes. To a woman. So what she said to her son, don't give your strength to a woman. And your, the way, uh, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. Now give away as the foolishness we're going to destroy you. Yes. Nobody going to do the foolishness we're going to destroy you. And cause you not to be the man where you're going to be. Nobody with the thief in and the scamming and the foolishness. Men are we yes. are scammer. One and two women that they is. Are we a drugs dealer? One and two women that they is. Are we a gang member and leader? One and two women that they is. Are we a thief and a politician? One or two women did they yes? We were placed at the head to the right and we are what? Failing. Read that again. Can't you read for me, please? It is, it is not for kings, O oh Lemuel, it is not for the kings to drink wine, nor for princes, sorry, for prince strong drink. It's not good for a man to be a drunkard. You must be sober. Come you on. must be able to stand up and discern. You must be able to rule and lead firmly. That's right. Don't give in to strand drinks and junky junky and foolish. Your woman, your wife is going to beat you when you're drunk. Glory to God. I'm trying not to go into the patwa. Your wife is going to beat you when you're drunk. Your children not going to respect you. Yes, come on. The community is going to look down on you. 
Did you ever know no drunk when nobody rate? Spit up on himself, vomit, dog look off their mouth. Oh. My God. Continue reading. Lest they drink and forget the law and Let pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Man is supposed to be that just image that when there is conflict, you come and you say, hold on. Go on, go on, I say, wrong. If you're drunk, you'll be like, oh, I'll go on. You might be like, move for yourself. Yes, but when they come with respect and dignity, I say, hold on, what's going on here? They might come go, on. Oh, Pastor Williams, or Ella Williams, or Pastor James. They might be like, okay, Pastor, so this is what happened. Come on. You're supposed to be the somebody to preside over little issues. You know, if you go to the police, come on. You don't have to reach there. Come on, that's right. You used to have some people in the community then, when people live bad, then call him and he come. Yes. Draw a chair, one over yourself, one over yourself. And him split justice. And him say, I don't want to hear this anymore. Make it done, yourself today. And it done. Continue to read for me. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish. Strong drink should be given to the man who is ready to perish. And wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. And wine to the man that be heart heavy and in bitter and in want in heart to get light. Come he's on. stressed out. Come on. Like I drink one rum, you can't boy, I'm stressed out. He under one pressure. Special. So you want something to live in spirit that should not be Come on. for men, men of God. Come on. Not even the man the motor road neither. It shouldn't be for any man across the board. Come on. You should be firm and sober. Listen, this is not for everybody, you know. This is not for everybody. But even if one person listen to what we say and can change, God get the glory. Hallelujah. I come tonight to speak to the men. Yes. So you finish? All right, continue. Let him drink and forget his poverty. And remember is misery no more. That is what people do when they drink. They drink to forget reality. They drink to forget, say, pick them hungry. Lord God Almighty. They drink to forget, say, he build you, he light cut off. I can't go home. I want to chase with this around me. Because I say, I can't face him sober. I have to go in drunk. You finish? It says, open thy mouth for the dumb in the cause of all such as are appointed to destruction. You should be able to rush to the aid of the dumb, the deaf, the crippled, the people who are less fortunate, the disenfranchised, the orphan. You must be there to protect and lift them up, not only your picnic. Amen. You are a protector of your society. Glory to God. Don't sit in your house and hear one mother murder a little boy. Glory to God. And you say, eh, if I did him, you see, if I did ever. Don't stay there and hear the man I beat the life out of the woman. And you're still looking at the safety of your house. My God. You should go and protect. The woman. Yes, that's right. Man should be a protector for his society. Anywhere you step, you represent God. That's right. Come on. You are made in the image and the likeness of God. And you were not just placed here for your own selfish gain. Come on. Mighty God. Continue read for me. Open thy mouth. This is verse 9. Open thy mouth. Judge righteously and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Open your mouth. Man, we need to stop with that passive, weaky, weaky man. Open your mouth. And if you're afraid, come call Blake. And if you're afraid, come call James. And if you're afraid, come call Kelly. And if you're afraid, come call Lewis. And you call Ryan. And you call some more man if you're afraid. 
I want to go over here and say, if you lick her one more time. If you lick the child one more time, wicked mother, wicked stepmother, wicked granny, wicked step granny, wicked mother in law, yes. wicked man, yes. if you are her one more time, Glory. if you molest her one more time, because we know where you are. Forget the underage girl pregnant one more time. I don't need on this song. How much of us know of these things? What are we doing? We are baptized in Jesus' name. We are filled with the Holy Ghost. We speak in tongues. We preach the gospel. But are we really protectors? How much of we know about these things that we are talking about? How much of us know at least about one of them? What we are doing? And if we miss this, no, them are kill people. <laughs> <laughs> no, say nothing. No, look over there. A bad breed them. He's on a good man. Christian, I come to church. I look up in the heaven. No, nah, look left, all right. Because they're fearful. But men, even when the woman has said, No, go over the junior. Tell her I said, Sit down. Blake, where are they? James, where are they? Louis, where are they? Kelly, where are they? We have a case here now. Ryan, where are they? Yes, That's right. Yeah, man, this thing has got too long now. And the wife said, No, Jesus, nobody go. They're my murderer. Women are going to do that. The Bible says we must deal with them with wisdom. They are the weaker vessel. That is what they are going to hurt. But we have to stand up for the better of our community. What are we going to tell God? Say? What are we need there? My wife said, I don't know if go over there. Man should be protectors. When a man comes, the fearful should be like, thank Jesus, here come. When they see one man a pass, they should run to a man for refuge. That is the image that man should have. So if anything I go on and they see one man a come, they say, Jesus, one man a come here, thank God. Look out for me, no man, I'm busy about you. I'm not live bad, I'm not bad, breed, I'm not this. The man come, out, come back in the yard. Two tools a year, foot broke and broke. You could have do something. Ephesians 5, verse 25. I'm so done, you know. I have to do what God tells me to do. Ephesians. Just accept it. Somebody, this is for somebody. This is Ephesians 5, 25. Mm -hmm. Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. <laughs> Some of you are not dead, you know. Because you know good. You know, 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 married, I want to married. I want to married, you know, 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 you and when you come, you know, no. What God tell you to do? Love your wives. Mm -hmm. Go on. Even as Christ also loved the church. And. And gave himself for it. Read the next verse. If you can find it now. You see? That he might sanctify and cleanse it. With the washing of the water no, 20, by the word. What? Read, read 28 for me. 28. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. No husband 
all when she had Jezebel daughter. We are commissioned to love our wives. Eat her. No. Malice her. No, no chat to her. No, no give her no money. No eat her food. Go over John. Go lie down. Check Stacy. Wait a minute. Love her, and even if one man come in with a machine, you pull a shot and say, See me here. <laughs> what a sitting. <laughs> when I just build the back of you, I say, Go along out there. All when I just build. Men, all when a Jezebel, 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 Liza, any name you want to call them. The Bible is saying to every man, not just Christian man, love your wife as Christ loved the church. And if he come to the test, one good man come in, <laughs> no go to your back door and say, thank you and thank you. I God can't kill him and lose me. Because he's no good. Don't slip out of the window. And when she has the junior, they do it at street light. Or when she are wicked and she no cook. Come on. And she no wash. Yes. And you're not getting no honey for about two weeks now. I go one month. Love her, men. Protect her. Protect your kids. Protect your community. Not just for your wife, you must go there and go dead final. You see, somebody can't manage themselves and somebody afflict them. You go out there and you face them. When I say you go out there, go lick your tongue with stone. That is not of God. But you go out there to try to defuse. The situation. You are going to protect. And even if you fling to wild stone when I let nobody. Making things say I go lick him, making run. Do something. Yes, that's right. We are in the image of God, and God placed us here to be protectors. And not only of humanity, but of the animals and of the land and of the trees and of the water and of the environment. Adam was placed there to dress the garden. You know. Where do you think we place that stuff to do? If we just hit mango and a plant a tree. We're supposed to plant trees. We're supposed to make sure that there is something for the future generation. We must try to make sure that the community is well kept. We have good fence around our homes. We make sure that we are of eyes on our kids. We make sure what they are watching. We know where they are going. That is a way of protecting. You have knowledge of things that are very essential. Husband, you know, easy. But God said we have to love them. Thank God my wife no come tonight. Cause uh, when they find Zoom, or I want to call it live. A lie. Okay, Jesus. All right, me not say nothing bad. Yes. But we love our wives. We love them. That's why we marry them. We have to understand. That even when they feel we have to still bear with them. We can't guess what gonna happen if we not do it. God is going to judge us. Yeah, yeah you look like you're an idiot. You're a waste man. You're a soft man. You're, you're a woman clown. You're a fool. You think no woman can do that to me? You think no woman can do that? You think no woman can lie down in my bed and turn her back to me? May I take that? 
not after church. Not after church. You have to deal with them according to wisdom. I met God judge them, but no make him judge you. Amen. Still do everything where you're supposed to do. Sometimes I leave my wife and go on my pen. And I think argument done. When I come and see more three girls or something. Hmm. I take a breath and I say, Jesus. I'm going. And I say, hi, how are you doing? I'm out long. I'm a grown, so I come back again and I say, so um. He said, we don't don't talk yet. <laughs> that the situation no resolve yet. My chest no light yet. He still left on my stomach. So when me come in my chest free, and I say, yes, Jesus. Bible said, deal with them according to wisdom. And I have to just go so, and go so, and do too foolishness, and him go so. Like he don't want to laugh. Most time he walk around the carnival. Most time I'm going to laugh. He walk around the carnival. I'm going to go look. And, and when he see me, he vex again. <laughs> but what we are going to do? We have to love them. Love them. Amen. No divorce. Hey, come on. We have to love them. Just as our Christ loved us. And have mercy and forgive us over and over and over and over and over and over again. We need to forgive our wives. Till she did. They said, thank you, Jesus. But while she's alive, there is no rest. You have to do it. Man should be a priest. Every man must be a priest. Women, when you're choosing a spouse, make sure it's not about the chest and the arms and the car and the money. Because we tend to choose because of the sensual things. Him sound good. He make me feel good. He smell good, I see. He ain't cute. Him body does feel good. He have money. He take care of me. Yes. But is he a priest? Is he somebody that at nights when you're in pain can lay your uh, lay his hands on you and channel heaven? Is he somebody that when you're down and out can come and give you a word to lift your spirit? Is he somebody that when you are hurting he knows us what to say, what to do. He's not numb and tough and cold. He can be touched by your emotions. Is he a priest? Is he somebody that's going to say, baby, me know it's a life hard, but make we go pray. Make we take this to Jesus. Man is supposed to be a protector. First Timothy 3. I'm coming down, you know. I know that this is not what you wanted tonight. But I saw you go. You, you, you ever go with me to have some mackerel and rice? You ever go with me to have some mackerel and rice? First Timothy. When that chicken depends on your mind. Hold on. I remember when I used to live with my mother, you see. I'm there, I'm here, and I smell the chicken, I'm here, and I'm go home. Cabbage! My God. I beg, I beg. My mother said, you buy steak in ya. I know this is one of the comfort tonight. We know. But we need to wash out sometime. You get something nice Monday, Tuesday. You ever go back to school later and they say, wash out? And you say, no. Can <laughs> you know, say, where am I going to come out and you going to run and you going to say, where am I? Jesus. And where am I wiggle? <laughs> And the and wash your tears bitter. Me don't like it, mommy. And then be just a swallow it. I say, so, mm. I hate this. Read that to my brother. First Timothy 3. 
Yep. And verse four to five. One that ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Read that one more time. One that ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? A priest is supposed to rule his house well. If you're not ruling house well and have a kit and a gravity, you should also be without reproach. You shouldn't have a name a call all about. Everybody get what I'm saying? I'm talking to men now, you know. All if you women them want to sleep, them all right, you know. Why you fear this? We should be without what? Reproach. So therefore, if you have one little little finger so, make it pop you off quick. Cause there shouldn't be any reproach. No. If a five finger will fear, but we have one other little one that's a make six. We could go to the doctor and then cut off you. Cause a five you should have. You get what I say? Men? You get what I say? You understand what I'm saying? One wife. Rule the house well. All of these things are supposed to be set in your home Amen. for you to be a priest. Yes. No, as a man. Is it easy? No. no. Is it easy? Men, is it easy? Men. Lord Jesus. I'm coming with something that you never expected tonight. Men, one wife. We must be a good report to be a priest. Young brothers, no. I'm unmarried brothers. I have been there also. I have been single. I've been in the church for 18 years before me married, so I know everything. The good, the bad, the ugly, the falls and the rise. But is it right? You must train yourself to be a priest before you're married. You must put yourself on a subjection before you're married. That when you're married, it's easy. Now, if we are married, it's like a hard to reset, so we are still one. Because habits take long to die. We should be have a good report, rule our house well, have our children and our gravity. Because if we can't rule our house well, we can't come in our church and tell the people them nothing. Everybody agree with that? Some of you really stressed at all. No, I'm going to leave some charge to the men and I'm done. Read it, read it somewhere. Proverbs 20, oh, 6 to 7. Proverbs 20. 6 to 7. Oh, as a matter of fact, I came and kind of late still. What? It was 20 minutes to 10. Ready? I want to worship. I want to sing. I'm going to say, yeah, the man sing and worship. I want them to work with me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God must get his glory. Amen. Worship is not too much. Amen. So I have no problem in worship, you know. But just want to know so when the bitters come. Yes. Read that for me, please. Proverbs 20, verse 6 and 7 says, Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness, but a faithful man who can find. The just man walketh in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. Men, we're going to read this one more time and listen. Come again, my brother. Most men will proclaim everyone his own goodness. So man, we say, me a good man, man. Me good. Every man good enough to them. Me a good man. But? But 
A faithful man who can find. Who can find a man a faithful? Woman, you can wake up now, talk to me. When you come to faithful man, you can find him. Hmm? I found the time now. Oh, uh, one day. When it comes to faithful men, it's easy to find them. And all of them said, they're good. And they said, me different. Continue to read for me. Continue. The just man walketh in his integrity. A just man is going to walk in his integrity, church brothers. Walk mm. in integrity of your calling. It's not easy. Continue, my brother. His children are blessed after him. Your children is going to be blessed if you walk just. Your children are going to be blessed if you walk in an integrity, men. And it starts from your young. Not only when you're married. If I could have do things over, I would have make sure someone do something. Can I take me so much years to break it? I start a journey, bad. I ever start running a race and, and by a start running a race, I said so. You start to race bad. You don't reach nowhere yet and you get hip shattered. You have to walk in your integrity. When I was coming up in the church, sister goes so, 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 so. I see me, oh, well, go on. Come in here, nobody with me out there. Come in the church, everybody want me. I said, all right. No, stop, no blessing. I said, no, stop, no blessing. Drink from the fountains. When we supposed to stop, could I stop drinking from the fountains? My God. You sweet, maybe. <laughs> Young men. May I talk to man in a Let me tell you something, you know. God give me all of these things to talk about, you know. I'm not come up here like me an angel. I know everything. You have to walk in a righteousness, friend. No. Try. Fight. Because it's going to follow you. Your sprain foot are going always hot up back. So try not sprain it. And if you sprain, go to pharmacy and find something rapid and take them work for me. What I say? You know, say no good. So you're going to take them work for me until you get strong. God don't want us as men to live in a life like the sinners and bringing reproach on the church and on his name. Married men, love your wife, left side peace. Young men who are not married, flee youthful lust. These things are very important because after we preach, I will jump and we will look on the phone. You yeah, are come tomorrow. You yeah, come tomorrow. You yeah, still are come. When the sermon lick you, you say, God, me now go. And by the service is done, you see a message. You yeah, come tomorrow. You yeah, still are come. You don't want to go. But because your hand is praying, it's hard for you to go. Nobody has praying it, brothers. I tell you. Nobody has praying it. Sisters, Full no time, one different time. Nobody spraying him. Married men, nobody spraying him. In my closing, this is my admonition to fathers, to children. Anybody near the fathers? Father? Anybody here? Father? Read that for me, brother. Ephesians 6, verse 4. Just, just bear with me. Ephesians 6, verse 4. That's why I'm going to go in the scriptures because I'm going to slow it down. Ephesians 6 verse 4. And ye fathers, 
provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. All right. Now, this is a charge to young men and fathers. First John 2, verse 14 to 16. First John 2. First John 2, verse 14 to 16. An admonition to young men and fathers. No, God, if one somebody here must see and change, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. First John 2, verse 14. Sorry. I have written unto you, fathers, because you have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God abideth in you, and you have overcome the wicked one. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Verse 16 says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. Genesis 2 verse 18. Charge to unmarried men. Genesis 2 verse 18. Yep. And the Lord God said, It is not good for that the man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. So you know, so that means if you're married then. Men. Amen. Men. Who are not married. It's not good for a man to be alone, and it's not good for more than one reason. You're going to struggle. You're going to struggle to live the Christian life and to be alone. I'm telling you, unless you're a Paul, unless you make yourself a you enough for Christ. Mm -hmm. But if you're a man like me, I'm not going to further with that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Second Corinthians 6 verse 14. You better get somebody. Can you now go heaven? Is it Second Corinthians 6? Second Corinthians 6 verse 14. All right. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion at light with darkness. So, it's in a garden, but nice though. Married man, him can't say they look nice though. We're not going to sing. What the Bible is saying, don't be unequally yoked. Single men, unmarried men. I'm not say you can't work. You know. I'm not say you can't work with a sinner girl. You know. And she not come to Christ. You know. But it's not advice. Sisters, you know, say you like a bad boy then with the pants on your And the shoes without no lace. And the head no comb. Come here, one girl say, I like a man who have a little cruff in him. <laughs> you say like all me now. Me too proper for them. Mm. Oh, a man who say, yo, come here. Yo, come check me later. You know what? You look a soft boy. Candy boy. You look a... Mm. Don't be unequally yoked with unbelievers. I'm going to say unbelievers. I'm not saying somebody who is not a Christian is not a believer. Unbelievers are people that don't have nothing to do with God. That's you getting right. what I'm saying? That's right, amen. But even when a person says, me, me grew up in a church, you know. And you say, oh, in God fearing. It's not advice. It can't work, but you're not advice. My brothers, it can work, but you're not advice. Because guess what? When you when your spirit leaks and you say, Lord Jesus, you gone bad now. I do it too much. Mm -hmm. I go to her and I say, You know, I say, me go to church. I know you're not going to church. I <laughs> when I go see you. 
And I thought about myself. Yes. Meet and see a girl and did it. And when convention come, I may get. I call her and say, it can't work no more. She said, we, 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 we not left. We had to say, we not left. Anybody in your account? Identify the man, say, Rami one. <laughs> brothers, single brothers, have a passion for single brothers. I've been single for 18 years. Mm. What a wilderness. It's a wilderness. And God bring me out now, Lord Jesus. And then the devil has said, still look upon that one day. Still. Want to bring me back into captivity. For the brothers again, second Genesis 2 verse 24, and then leave the unmarried brothers. Genesis 2 24. Mm -hmm. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. How oh, come you are 30 and you are not married? How oh, come you are 35 and you are not married? How oh, come you are 40 and you are not married? How oh, come you are 45 and you are not married? How oh, come you are 50 and you are not married? I saw you good. Men, I wish me there some more man. Come I have you know, a good man and you know, good enough. You know? I want to talk to some wild man then. Or the man who say, the Lord has not sent the person as yet. I'm waiting on the right person. Are you really waiting? You know, you know what it is to wait? Sit down and I do nothing. If you are double, you're not wait. Man, they may talk to me. Come on. So, thank you, bite you, warm to you. You don't have money, you don't work, you don't look good, you don't dress nice. Nobody don't like you. What we find out in the church is that there's a spirit of homosexuality. Where sisters use the scripture to say that. The Lord has not yet sent the husband and then the brother must say, Me not see no woman in that church. The church full of women. <laughs> where say not see no woman? In, in our. I first never see so much man, but where you know see no woman in that church. Then come in every size. Then come in every complexion. Then my cool little man nigga. They are mixed cool with nigga. They are Chinese and coolie. They are white. They are dundus. They are everything. You can't find none. The devil is attacking the unmarried men. Homosexuality is coming into the church like a snail. You ever see a snail somewhere and you just <laughs> creep in. And when you look and say, that's a far in reach. I saw his tear from a little man. Nothing wrong with him. I saw him go on and love sing. How he sounds so girly. I saw his tear. He grew up with no sister. I didn't grow up with his mother. Hmm. You know, sing and go on, so. Oh, it's a flamboyant. Hmm? Oh, you walk, so. And we see these things in the church, and the men don't take it upon themselves to say, Brother Shevan, come here. So you just seen a girlfriend at school. But you know, they are college, we are like. I 
Who am I talking to? Let everybody dead, dead from me. Who am I talking to? Leave your mother and your father and cleave to your wife. Cry our man. Unless you make yourself a eunuch for Christ. You know what I'm saying? God see Adam. Adam don't know nothing about sex. Or nothing about no woman. And he said, you not good. So what makes it good for you? All right. My clothes, no car. I lose everybody, you know. All right. It goes without saying, in my conclusion, that some of us are closer at home than others. Yes. Some of us have done some homework, and some of us are close at home. Some of us are far behind. But we're going to love each other as brothers, and we're going to pull each other up. The fornicator, the adulterer, is just as, as guilty as the homosexual. No, no right. Everybody get what I'm saying? So if me have a woman with my wife, it wrong just like a man and a man. And it wrong just like a woman and a woman. So me and you are going to see me go roast. So you and me go do now. Take me a little time and say, my brother, come here. Make me pray now. Don't neglect the brother when you can help. Just like when they need help to overcome wildness. Some sister need help to overcome being a little loose girl. Some brother need help to overcome gambling and anger. All of these things we have to struggle with. Some men not bash nobody. Because if me not change, I help me go just like anybody else. So we are at different level in coming back home. This is home. Minister Blair, come here, please. Pastor. Stand here. You can miss me. My brother, you can stop this. Sorry. Can you stand here for me? And my pastor will Can I stand outside? So this is what is happening with the men in society. Some man out a road still lasts in the darkness. But they might come in their door. We who in here so now have to show them what love and I consider myself because we know so we not good. Because if God if you go so and turn night in a day, we have to run away. Then you have some come in and green and a struggle. They have some overcome and I come up a bit closer. I come, they might come home. You know. Then they have some reach almost home. And they have some at their home. And you see one of their home? No kill them. Because you were outside one once. And you get mercy and grace till you reach the sun. Extend the same to your brothers. We're supposed to be united as brothers in the church. Oh, how many sisters them are fighting and cause? Maybe just pray for them. Can you not stop it? Now? <laughs> then not of course till God come. Where so we as the men, we have to set example. So we are coming back home. Arise and go back home. So I'm just saying to my brothers, continue on a journey wherever you are. Don't stop. Continue. Continue on a journey wherever you are. Continue wherever you are. Continue wherever you are. And with the help of your other brothers all the way, I'm going to make it home. God bless you tonight. This is what the Lord gave me for the men. 
we are doing well, but we can do better. Anybody here is a teacher? You don't know, so you have some students where it can do better, but they're just lazy. You don't know the one with the potential. Like I say, Junior, you can't get in second down. I said, Miss, but I still get 70. Yes, but you can get 90. Second down. And call him and I say, Junior needs to second down because Junior was having a high average and now he's at 70. Bad company. I the same way we do, you know. Sometimes we depend on high and bad company to draw it on. So get yourself with men that can lift you. No get one man where I suffer like you. <laughs> and I get one brother where I say, yo, that sister the rony man. And I say, mm. And I feel a friend that. Get one brother where I go say, brother, stay in the spirit. Walk in the spirit that you may not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And you say, yeah. Oh, you're going like your boat, man, sir, brother. So you know, see, sister, walk in the spirit that you may not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Get yourself with, with people who are strong than you and people that are where you want to go. I learned this. I used to be with friends who have the same mind. Do you ever realize here, never say a village or with a college student as friend? Because they have a different mindset. Because when she want to do road and go sleep with man, she want to study. Brothers, God is calling us home. But they also tell you, know, me not lying. Me not lying. I mean, need your help. So I'm here to help you, but I need your help. And if you see me along the pathway, and you see like me, I, I slip. Just take a little time and just bless him. Early, you no know, good. I kind of draw my back. Remind me where I'm going. Remind me who I am. Keep me focused. Don't kill me. Keep me focused. Draw me in back without even saying anything. Bless the Lord. I've been seeing you for a while. How oh, you doing? I remember at that church X years ago when you came and you did this. But you can't evict me. All right. Pastor, thank you. Thank you, brothers. We can go and sit. He that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. God bless you. Glory to God. I'm here. You say hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sound words. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And solid food. Glory be to God, somebody. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I just, yes, I see Assistant Pastor James going just to pray for the man of God. Praise the Lord, somebody. Glory be to God, hallelujah. But glory be, I just want to thank God for what he has done. Glory be over these three nights. Praise the Lord, somebody. Glory be to God, hallelujah. And glory be to God, hallelujah. And I just want to encourage, glory be to God, Minister Higgins. Hallelujah. Sometimes when you're expecting chicken, and you get the rice and the mackerel. It's sweeter than when you really get your chicken. Somebody say praise the Lord. So well done. Somebody say hallelujah. Well, anytime you follow God, it is always well done. Praise the Lord somebody. Glory be to God. Because I know we're going to remember these words for a very long time to come. Praise the Lord somebody. Glory be to God, hallelujah. So let's stand everywhere. Let's stand everywhere. Glory be to God, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Glory be to God, I love you, Jesus. Mighty God, Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for your goodness. We want to thank you, dear Lord, that you have been with us. Glory be to God. We knew, glory be to God, hallelujah, that tonight was going to be awesome. We knew, dear God, hallelujah, that this first men's convention, glory be to God, hallelujah, was going to come true, oh glory be to God, by your grace and your mercy. And so Lord, we just want to tell you thanks. 
We're here tonight. We're giving you thanks. Thanks for all the preachers that have been here. Thank you, dear Lord. Hallelujah. For all the chains that have been broken. Thank you, dear Lord, for the encouragement. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every word that has gone forth from Monday night until now. Father God, we thank you. And Lord God, we, we glory be to God. We want to stand in it, Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. Father, let not the enemy come and steal the word from us, God. But let it spring up. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hey, God. As the man of God says, let there be some trees that are planted. Hey, God, let there be some trees that are planted that our children and our children, children, hallelujah, will inherit. So right now, Father, as we go to a separate abode, I pray, dear God, that you will journey with us. I pray, dear Heavenly Father, glory that you'll cover us. We come against every backlash. We come against every retribution spirit, Father. Jesus Christ, and that is mad because the enemy is mad. The enemy is mad, hallelujah. Because men have heard it is not good to be drunken with wine. Men have heard it is not good. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. So, Lord, we thank you. And, Daddy Jesus, we prophesy. And as it's soaking our spirit, Hallelujah. that we'll have men birth. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Going from strength to strength. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God. And wives will be submissive. Father, we thank you. We praise you, we adore you. Hallelujah. We lift you up, hallelujah. We give you praise in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God bless you all. Greet somebody as we go. Yes, of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The love of God and Father. Full fellowship, love of the Spirit, the Comforter. Rest remain and abide with us all. Well, and I forevermore. In Jesus' name, God bless you so much. Glory be to God.